What's up, guys? I know by now we've all heard about what happened in Israel recently with those terrorist attacks by Hamas. But it just goes to show how precious the Second Amendment is. The IDF is a very efficient military force. They have proven themselves many times on the field of battle. Yet, and their military readiness... They can just call up their reserves real quick. However, it's still, despite that level of efficiency, it wasn't enough to save thousands of people, all those people. And um, a lot of peop pe people are now dead because of the war's terrorist attack, save 9-11. And the Israeli parliament has stated many times they're now, they've since changed their tune and are going down rapid reforms right now. But that being said is they don't believe in gun rights. Or, well, they didn't until recently. But um, the fact is, is that they said repeatedly that they don't want to be like the United States. They don't want to have the quote-unquote gun problem that we have. And keep in mind that it doesn't take a big, sophisticated organization like Hamas or Hezbollah to decide that you're not safe, that this area is not safe anymore. All it takes is one man. One man. And trust me, people, when you have an armed society, you do not see shootings like this. <laughs> and, um, you see, uh, the, uh, whole issue is, is that we need to come together and it's every American's responsibility to fight for gun rights, to be armed to be trained, to know how to be proficient with your weapon. Because I'm the, I'll be the first to admit, having a weapon is not enough. Training is so important. And you're not going to get good by buying some fancy-dancy whiz-bang toy. That's just not going to happen. It's not going to make you good. And if shit ever does hit the fan... Your fancy gear is just going to belong to somebody, end up belonging to somebody else if you don't know how to use it properly. And, um, see, this is why anti gun people make me so angry. Stripping away my right to defend myself? Fuck you. Well, there, you can see my middle finger. It's like, you know, you know, I got into an argument with my, my cousin who was a battered woman and all that stuff. And quite frankly, I told her, you know, if you want to stand there and let, let some man kick your ass, that's your business. That's on you. Me personally, I'm not going to be anybody's punching bag. I'm not going to hit without hitting back. And, um... It's like, you know, this is just pathetic, you know? And I just hope that what happened in Israel is a lesson to everyone in the free world. That the, sec the Second Amendment must be protected, and this is why. Because the government's not going to help you. And believe me, I trust the IDF before I trust pretty much any, any police force in this country to help me. I mean, look what happened in Uvalde. Look what happened at Pulse Nightclub. Look what happened at Stoneman Douglas High. Look what happened in Columbine. The list goes on and on. Police in this country have failed us time and time again. But the question is, will you fail yourself? I hope I won't, and I'll do everything in my power to make sure I don't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Six Semper Tyrannis, Mulan Labe, and don't tread on me. Be good, y'all.